Yo, what up, guys? Revived it here, and this is my champion guide or champion spotlight for Demeter, a void affinity dwarf who has been in the game for just just this year. She was released this year as part of a fusion for another legendary champion, but she has come to stay in Rage Shadow Legends as one of the um, champions that makes unkillable teams happen for newer players. Yes, this champion can make unkillable team or block damage teams work. In the clan boss that's where she's known for so a lot of players who get demeter for the first time will look towards building her for the clan boss and use her as a team that can beat ultra nightmare for the clan boss this is not that video if you want to watch that video on how to build demeter for the clan boss i'll pin it above here i've done it dead with jedi i've done it a lot of people have done it today i decided to take my demeter rebuild her or build her for the first time ever because i already had a ultra nightmare clan boss team with double man eater so i never had an opportunity to use this champion until today so why am i bringing her out of the vault now to actually build her and use her is because of the newest content that was added to raid shadow legends that is the iron twin fortress that has so much damage coming in that now champions that can actually block damage are becoming more viable now you already have a lot of champions who can already beat that content but i didn't want to take out my manita from their clan boss duty roles now if you already have your demeter built for your clan boss you might not want to use her for that role either or she will work with the same speed as the clan boss speed you can just slot her in and it'll work but i had my double manita bat eater team working for clan boss so this build again it's not a clan boss build i have to stress that forward all right so if you do not know this champion if you're new to raid like I said, this champion is best built for Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, Unkillable teams. Check out Deadwood Jedi and the card I pinned above right there if you want to check out how what she does for Clan Boss. But if you build her for Clan Boss, she can also walk similar roles because her speed for the Clan Boss is pretty fast. Yes, 200 over 200 speed makes her viable for other content. So why is she so good in the Clan Boss and why am I going to use her in this new content? It's because of this key right here. Is it the A3? Yes, right there. Places a block damage buff on all allies for one turn. Block damage means all the hits that are coming in, nothing. You will take zero damage. So that's the biggest thing right there. It's not quite like an unkillable, but since it's just for one turn, you will take damage the next time that it falls off. It also places a 15% continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. Continuous heal for two turns is great. This skill is on a three-turn cooldown when you book it. Demeter, yes, is fully is worth booking. You can spend your epic books on this champion to have this skill happen a lot in battle. So, because of you have this block damage coming in, this champion is built with a lot of speed. So, she can always have this skill available at all times. People say maybe put her in a relentless set, put her in a set that will make her use this skill more often than usual. But I'd say just give her a normal speed set. Any set that can get her high speed and survive longer is what you need on this champion. We'll talk about her artifacts and how I built her later, but that's the skill that makes her so good. But that's not all. Another skill that she brings to the battle right here is to decrease the debuff, the turn of the debuff that the enemies place on you and increase the um, your buffs by one turn. So that's this skill right here. It's like a mini cleanse, I guess. It also does healing for you. This healing might be nice. Seen 2.5 is small healing, but it's huge. It could heal your, your allies to max HP right there. So she's a healer. Increase duration of your buff, decrease duration of debuffs on you, and then do a, a mini cleanse and a heal for you right there to keep your team alive. She also places a shield on this A1. She can't place it on herself, but she places it on the ally with the lowest HP on your team. All right that's Demeter. she does have an aura that you can use her in the leader slot in all battles anywhere you can put her in the leader slot of 20 percent if you don't have anyone who can do 25 percent de defense or even speed aura that you prefer over there for blessings since this is a new thing to raid we guess we have to talk about it i'm looking towards giving her to one of these blessings that adds a little bit of um you know tomita to her now this is only because i'm not using it for the clan boss now if you're going to be using her for the clan boss you do not need to you know add any such tomita increase or reduction thing this champion will receive less damage for each subsequent hit okay this one reduces the damage it takes which is good there is one other one i saw about tomita reduction i can't find it or is this one no cool down no, I was looking at this one. That's what I'm possibly going to put on her when I finally unlock her, um, what do you call it, blessing. 
Anyways, Demeter, welcome to my team. For masteries, let me quickly head over there before I show you. This champion is built, built, built in defense and support mastery because she's a support champion and you would want to go all the way to timely intervention to have her, you know, taking numerous stuns. Again, not for clan boss. For clan boss, you always want to go towards uh, the war master mastery for your support champions because I was using, I was going to use her for the clan boss. That's why I have this mastery. I've not reset it. When I do reset it, I'll probably go towards this support tree to give me timely intervention to increase my um tummy a lot but if you're gonna be using her for a speed tune team for this iron twin fortress maybe this will not be such a good idea <laughs> but i'm not running a speed tune team there i'm using i'm using a team that can just keep me alive as long as possible and i do my damage and get out of there not yet gonna do a speed tune team there so that's the meter finally for the artifacts i built her in a random set what, I was, what was I looking for? The main thing I was looking for this champion is speed. You know how you build your habitat where you say, I don't care about attack, I don't care about defense, I don't care about HP. What do I need? Speed. This champion does not need accuracy also. Yes. So, all I put on her was speed. Now, you might check my total stats and say, well, why do you have a resistance ban um, chest on her? Why do you have resistance banner on her? Well, after you get the required number of speed, what else do you need? hp so i do give her hp some defense and then total stats i'm looking at close to 60k hp which is good close to 4k defense which is also good and check out that speed i'm so proud of my demeter build that's why i wanted to showcase this in this um, video because a demeter of 295 that's almost the speed of a speed booster in the arena <laughs> so 295 demeter will be a a champion that will just keep running around to her skills back again and using it before the enemies can you know say anything she has done a cleanse she has done a block damage she'll just be running laps around the enemies and having her abilities available for me to use at all times so that's why i built her and that's why i want to showcase this speed i'm really really proud of this now i try to give a little bit of resistance because this ion twin fortress if you bring some resistance and you have a champion who can increase your resistance by 50 percent maybe you can have enough resistance to withstand his um debuffs to clean to not resist his debuffs so i'm hoping to bring in a champion who can maybe increase my resistance that's why i'm not doing that 500 resistance right now but for demeter with this type of resistance for doom tower this will be awesome that's something i also put in mind for the hydra this will be awesome when i build champions like this i don't just think of one place i don't i was not thinking of only iron fortress i was thinking of doom tower and hydra higher levels of the hydra that's what i was thinking about into consideration when i was building this champion so Demeter, let me i've shown my total stats i've shown the skills i've shown the masteries let's take her into some content and see how she performs now the only piece of content that i'll show you in this video since that's the main thing that i wanted to highlight is this fortress how what she, what is our role in this team so if i head over st stage seven well this is not 15 i've not yet unlocked 15 but i'm assuming you need a little bit of no that speed will be okay <laughs> you need a little bit of a reviver to bring her back to life or to bring anybody that goes down back to life because that's what i wanted normally you only demeter and brogni you can keep your team alive maybe in doom tower maybe in hydra but if somebody goes down you need somebody to bring them back to life so the only damage coming back here is from my main bro um I, what's his name now geomancer so i took out every other damage so we can see her role in this team to keep him alive there's also negative affinity Demeter, block damage, heals, cleanses, an awesome champion that I've never had the opportunity to use until now. So, I'll start out with my A1 because I don't want her doing the block damage yet. If I buff right now, he will take a turn. I'll buff, no problem. I didn't have slow speed on him, but I'll add the slow speed now. One thing to note is that the block damage he places on the allies, it cannot be increased. Like I have what's her name, Gotsika Neri right there, right? Her job is to increase the duration of buffs on us. Let's see if she can increase it with this skill. 
See, she increased uh, the duration of all other buffs, but she could not increase the duration of that block damage buff. So that's something to note right there. I'm trying to place slow speed on this dude. It's not landing. All right. I just leave it on auto. Let this battle run, and you see that nobody is in danger of dying the entire battle because I do have big heals, big shields, and um. We'll stay healthy the entire time. And they let the boss just kill himself with Brogni's passive. Yeah, let him take turns and kill himself. But when the iron brand gets too high, he will begin to take too much damage. That's why I'm trying to get this slow speed on him. I'm trying to get slow speed on him, but it's not landing. Finally, okay, there we go. All right, I don't, I won't let you watch the end, the entire run. Let me just fast forward it a little all the way to the end and see how the run goes, and we'll come back to the end. All right, the boss just did himself some huge damage right there because we do have block damage on ourselves and do have big shields and all that. So that's this comp that you could possibly run with your Demeter. Um, what I will do at higher stages of this boss is I will bring in two champions who have block damage. I'm talking about Demeter and Helicat. So hopefully when she her block damage is off cooldown on cooldown helican can place his own block damage or maybe even one champion who can do unkillable on our champ on our allies so that's what i intend to do with the higher stages of this boss because that seems to be the best way to survive those big hits that are coming in all right that's just how i built my demeter just for this boss and i wanted to highlight her finally in a video and different from a clan boss build that we always see on a particular speed that we use her on demeter can be used right now as she is with this new um starts in the doom tower hard stages as our healer and block damage and even um increase the cooldown i mean and what do you call it now help us with the healing generally cleanse decrease the cooldown of um and um, debuffs that we have on us so another thing that i want to do in the future is bringing somebody that can reset the cooldown of our own skills because if you have um re maybe refresh accessories or you don't you probably don't have it but i'm saying somebody like a prince kaima or the budget version of prince kaima can reset the skills and let her do her um block damage skill over and over again so that's what we'll explore later in the future and whenever i come to stage 15 i'll also show that team when i beat it with the with the team i used to beat it hit that like button subscribe to youtube channel for more raid shadow legends content and let me know what you are doing with your demeter besides clam boss that's what i want to see in the comments later guys